Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. What I want to cover in this session is how you can quickly summarize data, how you can create running totals, and how you can format cells using format cells and creating your own styles, as you can see here there. So first of all, a quick way of doing the sum function is using the key command alt and equals and then that will just format that quickly. You can just add that up at the bottom there. So alt equals is the key command to summarize data. Now if you've got a big chunk of data, you can summarize a whole chunk of data with one quick key command. So I'll just copy some data and paste it in here. So you've got a, quite a large bit of spreadsheet. I'll just pull this in a little bit so you can see this better. So here's a, a big chunk of data which you can uh, highlight and then just use the key command to summarize the data. So if I highlight all the rows to the end and then make sure the columns are highlighted and then just do alt equals, the whole thing is filled in with one key command. You don't have to do the sum function, which obviously would work, and then pull it across, and then the sum function, and then pull it down. You don't have to do that. So alt equals is just a quick way of doing it. Now, to create a running total of these figures, it's a simple sum function. So I'm just going to do alt equals again. It just needs to be edited slightly. So what I need is to fix this first B2 with the F4 key. So I'm locking that, making it absolute. And then the second B2 is not absolute, so if I click the tick, and then if I pull that down, just put it down one to start off with, so it's gone, for, B2 is still locked, but this one now says B3, and if I pull it down, it will say um, B4, etc, etc, all the way down to the bottom. Now if I insert myself a column, so um, percentage, Let's have a go at this one percentage. So I've got the total there. So what is the what are these as a percentage? These figures, the percentage of the total. So this is a formula for that equals that divided by that. Now I need to lock this because I'm going to pull it down. So I'm just going to press F4. Take that. It's coming in pounds because that's what I had it as. Click on percent. Um, normally you have two decimal places. It's already defaulted to two decimal places. I can just pull that down and it gives me the percentage. If I pull it right down, that last one will say 100%. So you can see that that is the percentage of each of these figures. Now this custom format that you can see here, which you can copy and paste onto this data, basically all I've done there is a formula saying equals B3, so it's just pulling that one through. I haven't got it on the top cell and this is the custom formula that I've done. So if I do it on these figures you can see how it's going to work. It's just going to replicate that and I've got it sitting there. Look you can see how it's going to go there. Now where I've got the cross and the tick from is basically the windows and the full stop gives you these emojis and you can see them there and you or you can pick any of these other ones. There's quite a lot of actually if you click, click along the bottom here there's quite a lot. I'll close that for now. So if I highlight these figures and then do control one, which will get me into format cells and where I need to be is user defined and down, down the bottom here, you've got uh, a space for you to put your user defined format. So I want it to be red for anything less than 500. I want it to be red. So you have to put the word red in square brackets like that. And then the criteria in this case is going to be if it's less than 500, that's got to go in square brackets as well. And then I need a pound sign because I want it in pounds and then the hash. And then you can do all the, the proper formatting for the pounds. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I want the word bad. Now I need to do a space there actually. So you need a space there otherwise it will all be glued together and another space like that and then now I want a cross so windows full stop comes up and I'll just pull that onto this screen so you can see it so if that's the case I want that to be a cross 
Now I need to do a semicolon to separate it and carry on with the next bit which is blue and this one is going to be good so open the quote space good space close quotes do a pound sign a hash and then windows full stop again just get rid of this one for a second just windows full stop again uh, this time I want the tick so that should be the same as that. Click the tick, click OK, and then open that up so you can see it. So it's now put that format in there for you already. So it's similar to doing conditional formatting, except that you're doing it through the customizing the font style, really, and putting these features in there. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can use the Alt equals command to quickly summarize data a quick way to do a running total a very look a quick look at how to do percentages of the total and then how to format cells using user defined formats so hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time and i'll catch you in the next one